for this chapter, um, pretty much throughout the, the whole chapter, um, you have to be very careful to have every measurement in the same units. They'll try to trick you a little bit um, and give you things like this where you have 30 inches, 20 inches, and 2 feet. And you have to be really careful with this because you have to think, okay, well, what's what measurement do I want it in? Do I want it in feet or do I want it in inches? And what, what is the question asking for? Um, in this case, because everything else is in terms of inches, um, let's convert everything to inches. Another thing that you'll notice is that on, the, on your course page you have data sheets and you have to print these off and use them for every quiz and every test. <clears throat> so I've, I put them on the main page there, they're under data sheets, print them off, use them for every test, every quiz, uh, every assignment. You're, you actually get them on the provincial exam anyways, so you want to make sure that you understand how to use them. So I am converting, let me see here, feet to inches, feet to inches. Well, I know right here, one foot is equal to 12 inches. So for every foot, I'm going to have 12 inches. So for two feet, I'm going to have 2 times 12 to get to inches. And that gets me 24 inches for the height. So just make sure, always use your data sheets. Check um, all these different conversion factors. And there's lots of other stuff on here that we'll, get, that we'll use throughout the course. All right, so 2.1 units of area and volume, units. When converting areas, multiply or divide, depending on if you're going to a bigger measurement or a smaller measurement, by the conversion factor squared. So you have to take the conversion factor and square it, then multiply or divide. Because I'm dealing with area. Okay, be really careful with that. So. In this case, I have area is 13 centimeters squared. Well, what's that in millimeters? If I'm going to millimeters, millimeters is a smaller unit of measurement, which means there's probably going to be more of them. So that means I'm going to multiply. Next thing I have to do is check to see what my conversion factor is from centimeters to millimeters. Uh, let's see here. For one centimeter, there are 10 millimeters. So for every centimeter, there are 10 millimeters, so I'm going to multiply by 10. But wait, because I'm dealing with area and I have squared, I have to times by 10 squared. Okay, And the reason for that is, if I'm dealing with a measurement of a centimeter, so I have 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter. That is 1 times 1, which is 1 centimeter squared. It's 1 square centimeter. What about millimeters, though? How many millimeters is it across? Well, I know it's 10. What about down? Well, I know that's also 10. So here I have 10 by 10, which is actually equal to 100 millimeters squared. How did I get that? I multiplied by 10 squared, or by 100. <clears throat> so that's how it kind of works. You have to look at the square units and what are the dimensions? So basically length times width. All right, so times by 10 squared, which is 100. So I have 1,300 millimeters squared because I multiplied by 100. Now we're going from feet to centimeters. Again, it's going to a smaller unit of measurement. Therefore, there's going to be more of them, so I have to multiply. Now this time I'm going from feet to centimeters. Hmm, this is going to be a little more difficult. So I go to feet. And I know for every foot there's 12 inches. So first of all, I have to convert to 12. Or multiply by 12. And remember, I'm multiplying by 12 squared. So this is going to get me to inches squared. So I take 15 and multiply by 144 because that's 12 squared. I get 2160. 2160. And now I've gotten to inches squared. Next thing I have to do is I have to look at my conversion factor from inches to centimeters is 2.54. So I go back here, I'm going to centimeters, yep. So this time I have to multiply by 2.54 squared again because I'm dealing with area. So I take my 2160 and I multiply by 2.54. You can hit the squared button if you use brackets. I'm just going to multiply twice times 2.54. Same thing. And I get 13,935. Point 
5. If I'm rounding to the nearest tenth, tenth is the first place, so I'm going to round to the nearest tenth, that goes to 5. If I was to round to the nearest hundredth, that would go to a 6, because the 6 is bigger than 5, so the 5 would round up to a 6. Okay. Last one, I have centimeters to inches. Now, from centimeters to inches, this is going to a bigger unit of measurement, which means I'm going to have fewer of them, like there's going to be fewer inches than there are centimeters, so therefore I'm dividing this time. Okay, you got to be really careful with that. And remember that centimeters, or inches to centimeters, is 2.54. So my conversion factor, I'm going to divide by 2.54, and remember it's area, so I have to square it. So I take 25, divided by, now I'm going to use brackets this time, 2.54 squared, then I close my brackets, then I hit equals. So it's going to be 3. Point, let's round to the nearest tenth again, so 3.9. And that's 3.9 inches squared. So that's converting from centimeters to inches. We divided because it's going to a larger unit of measurement, which means there's going to be fewer inches than there are centimeters. That's it for this chapter. Don't forget to always use your data sheets. So always keep these handy. Print them off. You can use them for every provincial exam. Um, so get used to using them.